Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 43rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about functions. We're going to understand what functions are, how we can declare them, define them and use them in our C programs. Now a function is basically a named unit or block of code and what I mean by that is if you have some executable statements in your programs and you want to put them together and give them a name then you want to create a function. And we have been using main all along in this course and main is a function, right? So all the executable statements that are there between the curly braces for main are a part of its body. And you call the main function by just putting its name and the statements within the body of main get executed, right? So we could, we're going to see how we can do that for other functions and, you know, how we can create functions um you know of our own choice how we can give them names that we want and how we can put executable statements of our own choice within their bodies so we're going to do all that in this tutorial but i'm going to try to keep this tutorial very very simple and basic right because i there, there is a lot to discuss about functions and uh, functions are really very important so we're gonna you know take everything up in bits so this tutorial is going to be simple in the next tutorial we'll talk about you know um, the return types and you know the parameter lists and every other thing about functions in, in greater detail but for the time being just be patient and even if you don't understand something then don't worry you know in the coming tutorials in this course we'll uh, check out everything in detail so as you can see I've saved a file using code blocks I've given it the name functions it has the extension .c and uh, in this file currently I have just one line and uh, that is the header file the stdio.h header file on line one and uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is declare a function in this program right so the the function that we're going to declare is going to have the name my func that's my underscore f-u-n-c and you can name your function anything you want it just has to the name has to comply with the naming rules uh, for variables right for identifiers so um, you have to keep that in mind but what do you have to keep in mind apart from the naming rules while declaring a function are the return type of the function and the parameter list right so these are the three things that you have to keep in mind the return type the name of the function and the parameter list so the return type is the data type of the value that's returned by the function if it returns something and if it doesn't return something then you simply have to type in void right so we're going to understand how functions can return values later on but for the time being we're just going to have a function that's not going to return anything so that's why you have to put in the keyword void there then you have to type in the name for your function and as i said i'm going to call mine my underscore func and then you have to follow the name with a set of parentheses and within these parentheses you put in your arguments right so this contains a parameter list or you know the data types of the arguments but since this function is going to not do much, it's, it's going to be very basic. We're not going to have, uh, you know, a parameter list for this function. And uh, I'm just going to leave the parentheses uh, empty for the time being. And then at the end of this statement, you have to put in a semicolon, right? So this makes the function declaration. And this is the syntax. You have to put in the return type first, the name of the function, set of parentheses, which includes the parameter list. And then you have to put in a semicolon right on the next line i'm going to type in the keyword main right and we're going to have main's body here and it in the main function i'm going to have a printf statement that's going to print the message this is main on screen of course since i'm going to print another line of uh, text later on i'll put a new line escape sequence at the end I put a semicolon to terminate this statement and outside the body of main i'm going to define the function my func right so by function definition you mean you know specifying the lines of code that have to be executed when the function is called or when the function is invoked right so again you have to type in the return type which is void for our function you have to type in the name of the function which is my func you have to type in the set of parentheses and you have to keep them as they were uh, in the function declaration statement and you don't have to put in a semicolon here instead you have to type in the executable statements for the function within curly braces. So this function again is going to have just one printf statement and uh, it's going to display this is my func 
right? I put in a full stop at the end and a semicolon to terminate this statement. I'll save the file. And now when I click on build and run, you would see that I just get the message this is main with the new landscape sequence executed at the end on screen, right? So we do not see the result of this printf statement on line 9, right? So this function hasn't been executed. And the reason why it hasn't been executed is that we haven't called it. We haven't invoked it. We've just declared it and defined it, but we haven't told the compiler that it's supposed to execute it as well. And if you guys remember when I spoke about the main function earlier in this course, I told you that everything that's within the main function gets executed and things that are not within main are not executed. So if you would want this function to be executed, you'll have to put it within the main function and not the definition, but just its name, right? So I'm going to type in my func here and uh, of course the parentheses and I'll put in a semicolon at the end, save the file and now when I click on build and run, you would see that on line one, I see this is main and on the next line, I see this is my func with the full stop, right? So the function has been called or invoked now. And uh, so we've discussed three things. We've discussed how to declare a function, how to define functions, and also how to call functions within main. Right? So we've discussed uh, three very important things about functions. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, return types and parameter lists in greater detail. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon.